Hey guys, I'm so excited to be visiting you in your homes today. Some of you may already know me, but my name is Sandra and I'm the BBS director at St. Luke United Methodist Church. I really wish we could all be together and I have to admit that I'm pretty sad that we aren't. But we wanted to make sure that everyone stays safe and healthy. So we came up with a plan to do just that. So join us online each day this week with your family for lots of fun activities and exciting Bible stories. Today we're going to focus on how Jesus' power calms our fears. Stay. I'm Kendall. Shout your name so I can get to know you too. Today we're going to talk about Jesus' power. A lot of people are fearful about the coronavirus right now, but Jesus' power calms our fears. Let's start with a song about Jesus' power. Here we go!
Thanks for singing with us. Now let's talk more about fears. What scares you right now? I'll be going to a new school soon, and that's making me a little nervous. How about you? Pause the video and talk about that with your family. Being scared isn't new. It happened in the Bible, too. Let's see how Jesus' power calmed fears of some people who were very scared. Okay, to learn this story, you're going to need a bowl of water and a towel. I have a clear bowl of water, but yours doesn't have to be clear, but this way you guys can see what I'm doing. The towel is gonna to be to catch any splashes you make. So be sure you get your parents' permission to do this activity. So go ahead and pause the video while you get your water and towel. All right, are you ready? If you wanna follow along, this Bible story is from Mark chapter four, verses 35 through 41. And you can take a minute to find that if you need to, or find somebody to help you. Now, here we go with our story. Jesus and his friends were on a boat. See if you can make a boat in your water. A storm started. I think I can hear my storm. Jesus was sleeping through the storm. Jesus' friends woke him up and asked for help. And Jesus woke up and said, silence. And the water was still. Let's see how long it takes the water to get still. Watch your water and see how long it takes. The Bible says that the water was calm instantly. I can't even imagine what that would be like because it's taking several minutes for my water and this is just a little bowl of water. Jesus' power calms our fears. So, well, I'm gonna give you some questions to talk about with your family and you'll need to pause after each question. Here we go. Question one. What happened to the water in our bowl and how is that like being afraid? Pause and talk about it. Okay, question two. Imagine that you were in the boat during the storm. What would scare you? Pause and talk about it. And question number three, what does this event show you about Jesus' power over your fears? Stop and talk about it. And then we're gonna hear from Miss Elise with a really cool science experiment. See you tomorrow. Wow, Jesus' power calmed the fears of his friends and calmed the storm. When our fears feel like a swirling storm inside of us, we can turn to Jesus. Jesus' power calms our fears. When people are afraid, sometimes they blame God and they push him away. I'll show you what that's like. If you want to do it too, sit at your table with some scotch tape. Now that we have our scotch tape, let's get started. First, you're gonna take two pieces of the tape and put them on the table next to each other, leaving a little bit of room so that you can peel them back up. Now that you have them on the table, you're gonna peel them up and hold them next to each other. Hold them next to each other, sticky side facing away. Pause the video to talk about this question. Why would people push away God when they're scared? Now we're going to try this experiment again, but we're going to change it up a little. Take your first piece of tape and place it on the table, same as before. Take the second piece of tape, and this time you're going to place it on top of the other piece of tape. When you pull them apart and face them sticky side towards each other, they should attract each other. Have fun playing around with this, seeing if you can get your pieces of tape to attract to each other. 
Now, pause the video to talk with your family about this. How can we get closer to Jesus when we're afraid about coronavirus? In our Bible story, Jesus' friends didn't push him away. They went to Jesus with their fears and he helped them. We can do the same thing because Jesus' power calms our fears. Hey y'all, I'm Pastor Dana and I'm so glad to be able to close out today with you. We sure do miss you guys being here at church, but we are so glad that we can come into your homes and still share VBS with you. I hope you've had a great day so far. We wanna close today by having a prayer and talking to Jesus. We're gonna draw close to Jesus by talking with him. So I want you to think of someone that you know, that loves you, that you love, that you trust, that will help you or that does help you when you're scared. And while I'm saying the prayer, I'm gonna pause a two different times. And when I pause, I want you to just shout their name out, okay? So bow your head, close your eyes, and let's pray. God, we thank you for, we're thankful that when we feel scared, they help us by in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So one of the other things that we're gonna ask you to do every day is to draw a picture in your thankful journal. So for a thankful journal, you can either use a notebook or you can just staple together a bunch of pieces of paper and you can decorate the cover if you want. Being thankful takes our eyes off of what we're scared of and it helps us to see Jesus' power instead. That's one of the ways that Jesus' power calms our fears. So today, draw the person that you just thank God for in the prayer that we just had. Or you could draw Jesus. Put today's date on your picture, then you can look back at your journal later and remember how good you felt when you prayed to God and gave thanks for that person. Pause the video while you do that now. Thanks for joining us today. We want to see you tomorrow. And we also want you to spend the day looking for God sightings. I'm wearing my God sighting bracelet as a reminder. God sightings include things God is doing or providing for you or people around the world. Look for God's goodness, something or someone he has made, or just something beautiful. My God sighting today is all of you. When you find a God sighting, feel free to draw it in your journal. I can't wait for you to share your God sightings tomorrow. See you then, and remember, Jesus' power calms our fears.